In this video, we will see how to use the Zengo admin panel. This Zengo admin panel is used to manage our database models easily. So moving to our VS code, here first we need an admin account to access the panel. Firstly open your terminal with me and run the command uh, python firstly uh, change your directory to your project my project and then sorry uh, cd my project and then run the command python manage dot py create super user this will uh, make an admin account to access the panel okay so the next step is uh, if you run this command you will be asked the username email and password like username uh, is uh, if I want to use it as my name only email address if I want to use as uh, just uh, uh, 123 at the rate gmail.com if I want to use at this and password is let's say 1234567891 if I want to use the password one two three nine zero password again is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero your password didn't match means the password is hidden you can't see the password so enter it page one two three four five enter one two three four five enter the password is too short it must contain at least uh, eight characters this password is too common this password is entirely numeric bypass password validation create user anyway yes okay now I have created an admin account uh, admin account has been created by just using the command ma python manage.py create super user now what will I have to do I have to register the models in admin panel we need to tell Zengo which model should be visible in the admin panel basically so firstly we have to open admin.py admin.py is there in app folder just open the admin.py file and add the code which I am providing second line code will import the model import the model and third line code will register the model basically register the model fine now Zengo knows that we want to manage the student model from the admin <laughs> panel in the earlier video I have created a, a model named student which contains the field name age email and courses uh, and, and the same model is I'm going to use in this video too so the third one is third step is by running the server now all things are set you are a super user now and after running the server uh, we can test the admin panel working or not uh, python manage dot py run server i hope you are well aware about these commands till now the server has been created and if i am will just click over it it will display it will show me uh, the students list over here okay it will show me the student list over here now if i just move to admin panel by doing this thing if i just move to the admin panel then it will ask me the username which i filled there there so if i just enter that and and what was the password password one two three four five okay login just login what it has been created it has created an app whose name is student it has created an app whose name is student and uh, previously you saw the login screen and you entered the username and password which you created the earlier now here you can see there is a Zengo administration in which there are uh, apps 
their authentication and authorization column and uh, this is basically the student model listed in the admin panel and I can add new student record edit the existing records and delete the records also so if I want to add the records so if I want to add the records the name should be uh, let's say uh, the name should be uh, the name should be uh, if I put Daniel and age of the Daniel is if I uh, just do it uh, 25 and email is Daniel uh, 235 at the rate gmail.com and the course is by default BTEC you can change it to let's say it's BSc BSc save and continue editing or save I will just save it there are three students now me another one and Daniel also okay so actions are delete the selected students if I want to delete the selected students if I want to delete the record of HARA then it will delete it yes I am sure delete it and if I want to see my details here I can just click over it and I can see the details so this is the practical example of how Zengo works to handle the dynamic websites you can see I haven't done anything I just created a super user by using python manage.py super user it asked me the username password and email just that thing and it created automatically a dynamic websites from where there is no need to write extra code over here just enter your data over here and it will just change it in the database and that's it the Zengo admin panel makes it super easy to manage the database entries without writing the extra code and that's how you use the Zengo admin panel uh, that's it for this tutorial if you find this tutorial happy if you find this tutorial good then you can uh, do let me know in the comment section and this is for this video thank you guys meet you in the next video bye bye